Welcome again to American Zarathustra. This episode is just a very short kind of thought note, I guess, for everybody in the white positive community, in the right wing uh, political sphere, to consider as a potential strategy moving forward uh, in the so-called stolen election Biden era. So I'm having a discussion with a very close friend, very intelligent woman whom I've been connected with. And there's this concept of what's called the pendulum. So the pendulum is when two sides or two peoples disagree or fight over something, they create a pendulum. One pushes and then the other pushes back and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And the ideas driving this pendulum become, in a way, an entity unto itself. Other people catch on to these ideas. They become, quote, woke, or they come to some awakening of some kind, and they join into this fight. And so the left-right dichotomy is an example of that. So. The notion, though, of the pendulum is that it becomes an entity unto itself, and it it wants to continue its life. And the way it does that is by sucking our energy, so to speak, by you know having. Uh, I guess the idea is a bit abstract and maybe loony to some people, but uh, you might say that politics and ideas have a life of their own in some way and it, it lives through us uh, you wouldn't just sort of drop your ideology today and just say oh, oh well and walk away it's uh, your ideology and your identity are interwoven and then there's elements of perception information culture history all that plays into it so just follow me for a little bit with this concept of the pendulum so let's say whether it's an entity or not, it is it is a force, let's say a cultural force, political force, and it is driven by identity. So that being said, I want to read my reply to my friend regarding a new approach towards dealing with this battle between the left and the right. Okay, so one side of me, the martial artist in me, wants to figure out how to work that pendulum to our advantage. Whether this can be done or how exactly to produce a desired result is difficult to say. Applying Taoist principles, that's indigenous Chinese philosophy, Taoism, T-A-O, the pendulum is the interplay of yin and yang, which is literally the nature of everything, day and night, man and woman, uh, winter and summer, life and death, breathing in, breathing out. It's everything, everywhere, all the time in the world we inhabit. You either get an opposite and equal force to what you exert, or you neutralize the situation. There's also a kind of balance continuum you can sustain through a certain kind of natural inaction. That's a little complex to go into, but let me move forward with my martial arts martial arts approach to the left-right dichotomy. In martial arts, you can apply all kinds of forces against the opponent with varying results. You can also draw them into an attack by yielding. You can bait, misdirect, deceive, but all of this is playing the pendulum. I'm extremely good at this in Kung Fu and blah blah blah, bragging, bragging. Uh, the point is, I'm using nature's laws, not my own ego. So this is the crux of the matter. <clears throat> your identity and your ego are one, right? So everything in politics is driven by ego, per se. So if we replace that with using nature's laws, how can we come to a resolution, a political resolution? So what is the political resolution? Obviously for the right wing, we want to be left alone. We want to be 
unmolested. We don't want parasites. We don't want to be abused. We don't want to be have our, our tax dollars sent off to foreign countries while we're suffering, etc., etc. The true nature of conservatism is to conserve, to preserve Western civilization in our case. So how might nat nature's laws be applied to politics? I continue in my letter. Granted, this is still engaging in samsara or suffering. So when you're engaged in pushing and pulling political struggle, you're engaged in suffering. And the, the, the point of this dialogue with my friend was how to transcend suffering. So if you destroy your enemy, you destroy yourself in a way that there is no more pendulum between you and the enemy. So I'm going to take a quick aside here. I feel that a lot of our enemies, enemies of white people, European people, they define themselves by hatred of us. I, I don't, this is a generalization, but I generally feel that, you know, and this isn't just whites and, and non-whites. This, this could be, you know, North and South Koreans or uh, Mexicans and Guatemalans or, uh, you know, Serbs and Croats and uh, Chinese and Japanese, it, 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 uh, you know, you could go around the world. People define themselves by not being their neighbor who they've been fighting with for hundreds of years. So let's continue. Um, the pendulum is an entity that seeks to use our polarized forces to exist. Then neutralizing the pendulum would be the way to kill it, and it being the problems, the political crisis, the suffering, rather than escalating the aggression. So this is totally against the ego, talking like this. But again, how much... Uh, we're, we're, in a, we're in a desperate situation, we have to rethink strategy. So let's go. Uh, how do we neutralize the Hegelian dialectic? The left-right dichotomy. In Kung Fu, you move with the energy of the opponent by locating their center of balance, their center of gravity, then, quote, dancing with it until you perceive their intentions as soon as they have them. A quick aside here, this is something in, in sort of in Tai Chi, for example, but in other martial arts, uh, Judo, etc., where you you, by grappling with the opponent, you find their, you feel their center of gravity, which is in the hips normally, and then you push that around. It's like pushing a ball on water, you know, it, 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 it moves in certain types of ways, so you have to learn how to move with it. So as soon as the opponent redirects their energy or goes to grab or flip or punch or block or whatever, you can feel it coming because all of our movements have to originate from that center of gravity. You're pushing off the earth, for example, in order to walk forward. So that's just basic physics. Well, using this, under that's nature's law, for example. Okay, so using that understanding, move with the energy of the opponent by locating their center of gravity or the center of balance. Well, what is the center of the left? What is the core of the leftist uh, sort of Marxist ideology? I'm going to say, it, I'm not an expert, but I will say maybe class warfare, um, class conflict is creating that to the extent that they can sort of weaponize people's egos and identities to attack another class and therefore destroy the system. So divide and conquer, divide and conquer. And so you create, you know, you, you're seeing the point. So that I believe is their center of balance. So from there they move forward. It's very easy for them to uh, press the race button, for example, in, in America and elsewhere, partly because whites have white guilt, which is a mental illness, and the opposite of reality, if you consider everything and just absurd. And then <laughs> we could go into a lot of other reasons. Non-whites have, uh, 
their reasons to hate us. Uh, if it's envy or colonialism or A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Forget about the fact that they enjoy everything that Westerners created, the modern world. Uh, forget about the fact that they enjoy all kinds of benefits. I don't want to go down that road. So we let's just, I'm just going to assume you understand these things. So starting from there, that, that's an interesting topic, that's an interesting discussion, and I will kind of leave it to you to take it from there. So let me finish my uh, note to my friend. Um, okay, so you move with the energy of the opponent by locating their center of balance and dancing with it until you perceive their intentions as soon as they have them. Now the left tends to show their cards to the media a lot. Uh, there's a news report the other day, Biden says, Oh, Iran is just weeks away from having nuclear capabilities. <laughs> so you're saying, get ready to go to war over there, right? And forget about Obama giving pellets of you know, billions of dollars of U.S. taxpayers' money to them. And I'll get back to the topic. With an empty mind, you must move with their intended attack. So coming back, once you locate their intention... You empty your mind, and I guess that means essentially release your ego. So if you attack from the basis of identity and ego, now you're engaged in the game, and it becomes, it, it, now it's sort of the tall guy versus the short guy, or who's heavier, or who's stronger, who knows more techniques, and, and then whoever does is the winner. If you don't play that game, you can sidestep, you can walk around it. And so that starts with emptying your mind, so, or your ego. So um, just think of it as a new kind of a neutrality. So you move with the opponent's intended attack, redirecting that energy into the void and thus neutralizing their power. That's the key point of this whole thing. How do we, on the right, redirect the attacks of the left politically and culturally into a void and <laughs> to neutralize that power. Typically this is where you flow into an assault on, on your enemy and you know when they're at their weakest. So when they become neutralized they are weak. And that in, in you know in martial arts that's where you you throw your attack when they're weak. So but here's the thing that is getting back to the pendulum. So if you are so good at martial arts where every single attack your opponent does on you, you're able to block, redirect, or neutralize to the point where the enemy realizes there's no point in attacking you because every single attack becomes neutralized in some way, then they give up. You see, they give up. So what would we have to do to make the left give up on us and say this is pointless, this is useless, walk away? Nobody's ever asked that question before. Nobody's ever thought to ask that question. These are nature's laws. So, um, you know, you just think of a simple pendulum, you know, an iron ball on a string, and you leave it alone long enough and it'll slow down and slow down and stop. So it's a serious question and I, I'm sure there's a million ideas and responses to this that are for or against, probably mostly against, because we're entangled in our egos, we're entangled in our identity. We have identity, we have to win, we have to preserve ourselves, but is fighting, or rather, how do I put this, I'm just saying that from my experience as a, a martial artist, I win through neutralization, I win through nature's laws, and I've done it countless times. I ran a sparring club for eight years. I fought every kind of guy, every kind of style, tall, short, fat, strong, weak, every single, crazy, calm, like any kind of mental, physical type, I've fought them in a sparring environment, which is a safe fight, it's not literal fighting. So. I've tested these things out. Can we apply these things to politics? Something to think about. So typically, 
I'm going to continue to finish off here. Typically, this is where you flow into an assault on your opponent when they are weakest, when they are neutralized. In politics, however, that just might make them come back with a vengeance. So, in a sense, you don't defeat them by, you know, punching them or what, or hurting them or something, but you defeat them by neutralizing them. I've defeated many opponents simply by blocking, redirecting their offenses until, again, they realize it's pointless to try to hit me. They burned out. Okay, so to make the left burn out, is that even possible? You see, they're ego-based, they're identity-driven. They're driven by intense hatred, old, old hatred of Europe. And I'm, I'm referring to a specific tribe that is behind the whole thing. Can that be burned out? That is a deep well of hatred. Uh, I mean, millennial, I would say, it's older than a thousand years, put it that way. So perhaps to stop the left-right pendulum, we have to find a way to redirect the left's assault into the void. This is the million dollar question. So I'll leave you with that. Um, definitely the beginning of a discussion, not the end. Have a great day.